This is the biggest mistake that I see people make when they are doing target research for the Facebook ads or they're choosing what interests to target with Facebook ads. See, here's the thing. Facebook works like an auction. So there's only a certain amount of placements that Facebook can provide and send ads to, right? There's only a certain amount of people on Facebook every single day that are scrolling. There's only a certain amount of places that they can show ads to. So what happens is it's like an auction. So you basically create your ad, you set your budget, right? You target a particular section of the placements or the people, and then you basically launch your ad. But what happens is, and the reason why Facebook has got more expensive over the last few years is because there's obviously more and more people that are putting in the bid and launching the ads. So what happens, obviously supply and demand, there's, ne there's more demand than supply. So cost increases, which is why if you have been running Facebook ads for the last few years, you would have realized that your cost has increased because there is just a finite amount of placements that you can actually target. So that's how it works. Now, this is the reason why most people fuck up when they're actually doing it. So I'll give you a few examples. So if I am a coach and I'm, I don't know, if I'm a life coach or something like that, or maybe I'm a business coach, most people will log on to Facebook and they'll be like, well, my audience likes Tony Robbins. And Toby Robbins is an interest that I can target on Facebook. And look, Tony Robbins's audience size is huge. It's a huge amount of people who like Tony Robbins. And my audience loves personal development. They like Tony Robbins, so I'm going to target them. And this is what most people do, right? There's a huge pie here. And it's the same if... You are teaching people e-commerce, you will probably target Shopify, right? Or there's like an e-commerce interest as well. If you're a fitness coach, there's probably an interest around weight loss that everyone is targeting. Now, here's the thing. So yes, there is a big audience size, but because it is so popular, everyone who is a life coach is targeting Tony Robbins. Everyone who's an e-commerce coach is targeting Shopify. Most internet marketers are targeting ClickFunnels and Russell Brunson. You know, most fitness coaches are targeting weight loss. So what happens is you've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, basically sending their ads to the Tony Robbins target audience. And obviously there's only a certain amount of people that Facebook knows likes Tony Robbins. So what happens? Because there's so many people targeting Tony Robbins, the price is going to increase, which is obviously bad. And it's actually bad for two points. So number one, obviously the price of the auction, like I just explained, is going to increase. But number two, this audience is getting absolutely plastered with very similar coaches promoting a very similar offer, right? If, again, if it's a life coach, there's like a million different life coaches that are trying to promote life coaching to this audience. So not only is it going to become more expensive, but the conversions are going to be lower because this audience is going to be so burnt out from all these life coaches targeting them. It's the same if you're running for Shopify, Yes, the auction is going to be expensive because every single e-commerce coach is targeting Shopify and e-commerce agencies as well. But not only that, is that everyone who is in this target interest literally sees about 10 to 50 different e-commerce coaching ads every single day. So you've got to be very different to stand out. And it just means that the audience is burnt out more. So even though, you know, your audience does like Tony Robbins, even though there's a big pool of people that like him, it still doesn't mean that it's a good interest to go for. This is what you should do. You should find smaller interests that are related to your niche. And maybe that wasn't small enough just to get the point home, right? I can do a smaller one. So 
For example, you could target, if you wanted to target people who were interested in life coaching, maybe you wanted to target, I don't know, CEOs of companies or people who are at a director level of company that, you know, wanted to find their purpose in life. Maybe they were unhappy with their career and they wanted life coaching to basically help them find their purpose. Then maybe you could find different books that executives read or different training programs executives have gone on, or maybe different softwares that executives use on their day-to-day -day basis. Or you could just find someone similar to Tony Robbins, who is just less big of a name and is maybe more niche. And what you do is you find those target interests and you target them, right? So again, Yes, there's going to be a lot smaller. Tony Robbins, I don't know what his size is off the top of my head, but I imagine it's like, you know, a couple of million at least, maybe even like 10 million people like Tony Robbins. So you're like, wow, 10 million people, that's amazing. I would rather find someone who's got 500K or you could even go down as like 200K audience size inside of Facebook. Because guess what? Yes, there's a smaller pool of people but there's a few reasons why. Number one, it's more targeted. So like most people have heard of Tony Robbins and even people who aren't necessarily interested in life coaching have heard of him and maybe have liked some of his videos and therefore Facebook thinks that they like Tony Robbins, right? So they're gonna pull them in here. Even though a lot of these people out of the 10 million might never be interested in life coaching. But if you find a smaller coach who has like a 200K audience size, then really because he's so niche, most people that follow him and most people in this audience pool are actually going to be interested in having life coaching, right? So that's number one, it's more targeted. Or number two, like I mentioned with the example, if you're targeting executives who want to find their life purpose, if you are then finding an interest that is directly going to be majority of those people are going to be executives, then again, it's super targeted as opposed to trying to find, you know, the executives in the Tony Robbins pool, because there's obviously a lot of people inside Tony Robbins interest set that aren't going to be executives looking for your life purpose. So that's one reason why. And then obviously, again, you've got the auction. So what would you rather be? Would you rather have a pool of 10 million people, but also have millions of advertisers that are sending their ads to that interest? Or would you rather have a smaller pool of people and only actually have a couple of people competing for the same placement? So what happens here is obviously there's less competition. So there's less demand and there's, there is obviously a certain supply, but because there is less demand, the auction and the price goes down. So you can actually target these people for cheaper because there's less competition. So the auction goes down. So that's another reason why it works so well. Number two, because there's less competition for these interests, these people potentially will be less jaded and have not seen as many ads as the people inside of Tony Robbins. And obviously, if I was to do this diagram again, maybe I would overlap them because there's of course going to be some people that like this interest who also fall inside of the Tony Robbins interest as well. So it's not like they're exclusive where people only like this and don't like Tony Robbins. I suppose you could exclude Tony Robbins inside the ad set, but that's getting a bit advanced. Um, so if I was to draw this again, maybe I would do, you know, Tony Robbins here and then this little interest here. And then you want to basically target the people here, right? But again, there's going to be people inside of this interest set that aren't getting hammered with ads from life coaches every day. If you find like a smaller e-commerce shop uh, software, that's an, uh, like a really super alternative to Shopify, or if there's like a different software that, you know, an app or something that a lot of e-commerce owners use, that is obviously going to be less popular than Shopify, then they aren't gonna be hammered with e-commerce coaching ads every single day. So this is the way you want to try your targeting for Facebook. 
again, if you've got a really good offer and your ad is really good and you know everything else is perfect, then you could probably still run ads to Tony Robbins and get results. Like we still run ads for our clients to popular interests because we know the ads are killer ad and we know the offer's killer. But especially if you're just starting out, you don't want to start out in this big pool of people here. You want to try and find these small, less competitive interests that are more targeted because it's going to be cheaper. There's less competition. So the audiences is going to be less jaded. And like I said, you can actually really target your ideal customer.